Expecting intros? A lot of running people here coming to speak. Most prefer the fancy surroundings, but no one cares the kind of Pazak cards I sell. Goodbye. Fucking Pazak. What the fuck? Who's that? Why can't he dress like a fucking jackalope? Go away. No way. Hey, you don't talk like that. We must want to take her to Big Bear Bang and to Kalo Nord. He's a Nord. Skyrim. That's Pirates of the Caribbean. Would you be funny, tough guy? Who's, you know who we are, Kalo Nord remembers of the Black Volker gang. You don't want to be funny with us, tough guy. Me no understand. One, two, why you count? He's trying to count how many of us is against him. That's three against one, Kalo. What do you think are the odds? Well, we don't have something more to say. Three. Oh. 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 He only shot twice. Maybe the grenade killed one of them? I like this if we talk Go to him. Away. I saw him off to those black falcons, nice work. One. Smart. <laughs> well, that guy does the counting thing on us, too. He's real intimidating, isn't he? Told them not a recurring villain. Um. This gang war is getting out of hand. The Volkers aren't just attacking the hidden Vex anymore. Hey, it's Holden! Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. You know what I mean? No. No. Absolutely not. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That witch tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Why would she do that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. And I admit I was drunk. Shut up, Carter. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Sounds like maybe you got what you deserve. I want the bounty on Dia's head removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It would be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If you hire someone to kill Dia, make it look like a man enough to do it yourself. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with her life or 200 credits. Fine. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Yay, we lose money, we got points. Waggle their head tails. That guy's scary. Oh yeah, these two. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. <laughs> She run away home now. Who you calling little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. They're clearly <laughs> reptiles. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. We know one problem with Wookie, our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Kimba 
Hey, could you guys smell? You smell that? Future companions? Future companions. So let's give them a nice little chat. So. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must in the entire town? I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. That's weird. That's weird. Like, who speaks galactic basic? It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalba. He's my boyfriend. <laughs> the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Uh, I want a fifth of crack, a Playboy from 1978, and a can of tuna. Give me that. We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, I'll ask you some questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Callow Nord. Mm. I don't think that's all we need to know. Yeah, this diet's pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. So they're with the Becks. All right, that's good to know. Uh, also, fucking what a dick! Let the guy finish eating. It's <sighs> Curtis. There's just bullet holes in the walls. Hey, so it's, uh, it's your typical pack of what the fuck is this? Star Trek? Star Trek? Star Wars? You think we are strange? Why? Well, just... Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. It's okay, you're not here to offend we. What do you want then? I'll be going. Go, leave us alone. We just want corn to end so we can go back home. Jesus Christ. It's just, this whole place is strange. I think this is the bounty office. Oh, this mission. I never could figure that out. Hey, Holden. What do you want now? This whole thing with Dia. Fine, everything's done with Dia. So let's talk to Zax. <laughs> I've not seen you here before, human. You are new to Bounty Office, yes? My name is Vax. I'm the one in charge here. There are bounties available here, legal and otherwise, and they pay quite well, but for you, are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents. I'm the hut with all the answers. Gurney said I should speak to you about the Rackles. No, you work for Davik. Tell me about the bounties. There's two government contracts, an assassin named Sylvan, the other is Bendex Starkiller. He's a famous deathmatch duelist. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. But now that all the bounties are dangerous, Davik's got some special contracts. One for a girl named Dia, she attacked Holden. Another for a man named Largo, who owes Davik money. I don't like special contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And this Matrix sees a work for Davik, but he betrayed the exchange, and now Davik wants him dead. This is not one of the Contra killings. Sylvan is a government bounty. She's a dangerous woman. When she started, she was just another killer working for Davik. Then she began freelancing to the highest bidder. One day she killed six citizens in the street and their bodyguards too. And they were all Olgos, a powerful merchant family with many enemies. Sylvan was hired to kill off the whole family. She was very good at her job. Each day, more Olgos died, poisoned at home, shot down in the street. Guards and droids couldn't protect them. After a month, there were no Olgos left on Terrace, not one. Why did they hire Sylvan to kill them all? It was never a problem. It was never proven, but after the Olgos were all dead, the Organa family demanded the government put out a contract on Sylvan. They said nobody was safe as long as Sylvan was still free. But Organa were powerful rivals of the Olgos. Some think that they were the ones who hired Sylvan, and they tried to have bounty hunters kill her to keep the secret from coming out. But terrorist politics aren't your concern. You're just a bounty hunter. You kill Sylvan, you get the credits. That's the only important thing, right? Tell me about Bendak. Bendak's in government contracts, but he's a legend on terrorists. He started out as a duelist in the upper city cantana, cantina. He never lost, but he only fought death matches. He killed hundreds in his day. 
Then Deathmatch has got banned. Dual Ring switched to non lethal combat, but Bendek wasn't ready to retire. He kept dueling on the illegal underground circuit. He kept killing people. Finally, the government had no choice but to put a bounty out on him, but then Bendek's a big folk hero, so not too many try to collect. Those who do wind up dead, anyways. Okay. So now we know to collect two bounties. So we're gonna do this stupid quest because I hate it. Can't you see I'm auditioning? This is my shot at the big time. I can't risk screwing up. Do I talking to you? Ah, uh, what's the use? There's no way Bib's going to hire me unless he has a chance to see me dancing with a partner. Maybe I should just give up. Bib! Maybe I could be a partner. I admit I'm getting desperate. I hate to blow the, this audition, but I don't know if I can just pair up with a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? What other choice do you have? Well, you have that certain lucky, a, cer a confidence of movement, so I, I guess you'll have to do, but I'm warning you, don't screw this up. I got a partner now, I don't want to just Okay, well, Lynn, you've got one more chance. I'll give you a minute to get your partner set up and see what you've got. Maybe I've got time to watch for three, three more dances, make them count. Okay, just follow my lead. Remember, the more complicated our step and the closer we dance, the more it will impress Bib. But don't get too close if I can't handle it. I don't need some clumsy oaf tripping on me. Try not to screw this up for me, okay? Dance like Commander Shepard. You know, your partner isn't too bad for an amateur. Okay, let's see what else we've got. <laughs> she gotta do the festy bumps. But running around her in circles while she dances. Bes beside her. Good, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice tempo. Looking good, Len. Okay, one more dance to go. Bib looks happy as long as we don't screw up. I think we got it. His name is fucking Bib. Now you gotta wave your hand like a dumbass. And then you gotta do the chesty bump. The chesty fest. Dance face to face. Give it the, the robo hand. Now fisty bumps. And wave. Let it flow through you like the dark side. Did I get the job? You want me to dance some more? I can't do one more if you want. You made it. You've got the job. Welcome to the Starlight Entertainers. I don't believe it. Believe it, kid. You're in. Now we're gonna get fitted for your outfits. We need to start rehearsals. You've got contracts to sign. Let's go. Busy, busy. That's the life of the star. You're a little beneath me now, like Bib said, I'm going to be a star. But if you ever travel the galaxy and you see the starlight next to performing, stop by and ask for Lynn. I'll see if I can get you some free tickets. Wow. Useless. Kurt is like, why are we wasting our time? We got other shit to do. We do, we do, we do, we do. We have to do things with people. Oh, the side quests in this game. They're dumb, but it's making me smile, so at the very least, I'm entertained. It's been a good eight years since I think I've played this game last. At least it's in, in its entirety. I heard Davix hired a Mandalorian mercenary to work for. I didn't know there were any of them left after the Mandalorian Wars. So this is the Hidden Bex base, but we're not going to go there yet. I wonder if the Hidden Bex scout will help us fight them. Yeah, he will! Holy crap! Cool. Hidden Bex are on our side, guys. More Vulkers. Oh, that's you guys are behind What do you uh, you think? Just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? So let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Vulkers. So you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay.
Oh, hey, Cantorus. We didn't know we were working for Davik now. Yeah, we're just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Here's Davik's cut. boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Cantorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Call you on my space cell phone. What's up, Candrus? Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadden keeps his hidden Vex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. Delusion. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Okay, goodbye. Hey guys, you want to loot more apartments? I know you do! I think these are the last apartments, guys, so get excited. <gasps> Kalonord. Do you need something, little man? That's Kalonord, the infamous bounty hunter. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. There's over our cold dead bodies. That's the plan. Quit quick on the draw there, eh, naughty boy? You're not gonna get their heads or ears or anything or nothing? No proof that you did it, huh? Okay. Is this a guard? I'm not quite sure what this these people are guarding. Move along. Swoop race office. Is that what that says? What? What? Oh, great human. What is it? Who are you? I work for the Terrace Bureau of Public Entertainment, specifically for the Soup Racing Department. Would you like to add anything else? No, I would like to not add anything else. What do you do here? I get paid minimum wage to sit in this hellhole of an office and organize all the rosters for the upcoming swoop races. I also double as a medic if anyone gets injured while racing, although my services are rarely required in that respect. Usually, if a swoop bike crashes, all that's left is a melted heap of plas toid, plasteel, and flesh. What is this place? Officially, this is the Terrace Bureau of Entertainment and Public, Department of Swoop Racing, Lower City Organization Office. Unofficially, this is the worst excuse for an office ever. Speaking of which, how do I get into the swoop right track? Take the elevator on the far right of the room. Okay, old apartment. I don't know, maybe because the shodas who make the budget didn't give us as much money to the Department of Swoop Racing as they did to the Governor's Personal Vacation Fund. Who cares? Okay. So this is new. This is a new place. The protocol drawing. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Cool. Let me get at the medical supplies. Grab my grabby hand. Grab yes, what's in <sighs> We'll ask Karth questions in a second. Once he moves out of the way. Let's go down the swoop platform. <sighs> I've never been here. Hey! This is the swoop place that we go to later on. You got any favorites in the season opening race this year? Any inside info on which gangs got the edge? I hear the Black Volcars got themselves some new prototype swoop engine. Okay, so they're talking about the... Oh, Pazza cards. Why are there Sith down here? This area's off limits because of the riot after the last race. You Teresians couldn't handle crowd control, so we're shutting down the swoop track. Just move along. So these are all new things. Restored content, huh? Can't talk. Swoop season starts soon. We need to scrub this place top to bottom before the season opens. I don't know why teams keep letting riders come in with those experimental new swoop engines. I saw two riders killed when their engines exploded last year alone. Alright, so this is the swoop track. Okay. It's just blown up cars. I mean, swoop gangs. No. So that's interesting. So that's a new place. Little things, you know, restored content and the like. When we play uh, Knights of the Republic 2, uh, the changes are no doubt going to be way more glaring since like, one nineteenth of, of that game was a like, cut out. One nineteenth. I mean, like a nineteenth of that game was the only thing that was left over when they were done on the chopping block. You know, it made sense. A lot of the content was unfinished, and the game did drag a little bit. 
But you know what? Like in this day and age, people get to choose what kind of they get. I know a lot of people cut out the opening quests of Skyrim because they've done it so many times. And I know there's a lot of skip terrace mods. Uh, but I wanted to get the full experience, you know, with this restored content mod. Uh, I wanted to see all the little things that they changed, and so far there's a lot of ooh, minor fragments. This is Black Falcon Turf. You'll pay for this. Sure. Dead. Karth, shoot them. Close. Shoot him. I'll be artillery. Do you have awareness, Karth? No, you do not. So do this. Sure. Oh. Karth is dead. This computer is an electronic personal message center. It looks as though it hasn't been used in some time. This one run red message. Hey Elam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he have leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Are you still practicing with that blaster I gave you? Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan and it could be dangerous out here. Stay away from the swoop gangs and keep everything locked in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Look at me, did you, see, did you guys see me juke that shit? So, it's a, the box is an older off-planet model, there's no interface for you to try to slice the system. You're gonna have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Try to enter the password. Access Elam Matic. Access not permitted on the authorized users. What is the name, what is the name of your pet? Hyperdrive. Your uncle. Alderaan. I got all that from reading. So we had a hundred bucks of Republic mod armor. Is it better? No, it's not as good. But you know who likes? You know who has shit armor? So I'll take a fucking stim pack. Stim packs. <laughs> it's not for Fallout. It's not. It's not the right game. It's for Fallout. It's for Fallout Four is coming out soon. I'm playing that. Oh god, I hope I don't... I hope I finish this game before Fallout 4 comes out. I know it's like a month and a half, but god, I started a playthrough of, uh... Black Mesa like a year ago, uh, like four years ago, and I still play it from time to time and upload an episode. Oh, here's Sylvan. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? I'm gonna collect the bounty on your head, Sylvan. You're a fool if you think you can collect... Now you'll see why I... We're gonna see why she's the most dangerous assassin on terrorists, guys. Oh. Well, he killed Karth. I mean, she. Um. Well, that's a good place to stop the episode. Uh, next time on this series, we'll do better.